So I had one of you instant message me on Instagram and ask me if I would review the Laura Geller, the best of the best baked full face basics. Is this really worth the $69 charge? It's got this plastic on it. So let's get the plastic off. How do I do that? <laughs> How do I get this off? <laughs> like I can't grab it. <laughs> There's gotta be some trick to this. Okay, I need my glasses. Oh, I see the lip. No, that's not the lip. Oh, heavens, how do you get this off? Ugh. <laughs> Gonna use my tweezers. I see a lip. Oh, I see, oh, I see it pulling up. Okay, okay, this is the most ridiculous thing. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 yes. Did I get it? Oh. <sighs> okay, that's ridiculous, people. Okay. We are not off to a good start here. I have a hard time with something being called a full face when I have to come to the camera with my foundation on, with my eyebrows on, with some powder on, and I'm gonna obviously put in lipstick on. It's not full face. This has three eyeshadows, a blush, a, I would say a bronzer, although they call it the baked body frosting and it's in Tahitian glow. Two highlighters, one that doesn't seem to have a glitter to it and one that does or a sheen. I don't know. Let me see. No, that looks pretty. I mean, it does have a glow to it. In case you're wondering, I am wearing True Match Super Blendable. This is the reformulated True Match from L'Oreal. All right, brought you in a little bit closer so you could see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first because that's what I always do first. We're going in with the Sunstone and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Okay, I am not seeing anything. Like literally nothing. Is it really coming off? I literally see nothing coming off. Let me use my finger. It's pretty much the color of my skin. Let me use a more compact brush. This is the BK206 and use that instead of a fluffier brush. All right, I'm just gonna use this all over, which is pretty like I don't mind doing that now I don't have a real transition shade so I'm not sure how much this what this is gonna look like on me but we'll try do you guys see any difference I don't see any difference okay I'm gonna go in with the almond color which is darker than I would normally do for a corner let me see how dark this is it's not really really dark I'll go in light put a little bit on the corner I like to extend it down to over here and connect this to this. This is definitely not dark. I mean, this is not dark at all, but I'm okay with that. I don't like really dark, definitely dark enough. Now, if you'll see, I am leaving right there open because I, or not open, but not darkened in. I don't want to darken my whole lid because then I'll look too heavy. So I'm gonna do something with that in a second. And I'm not bringing the darkness right here at all. I'm just bringing it kind of right in the middle, right above my crease, which I don't really have a crease because I am so hooded. Okay, let's do the other eye. And I don't wanna to extend too far out to here at all. I like to go kind of like in a, it's a V, but it's kind of a soft V. Okay. A little bit darker here than I wanted, so I'm gonna darken in this side just a tiny bit. I will say that actually went on pretty well. Like I actually, I do like that, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Oyster, which is this one right here, and I'm going to use my finger because that one has a shimmer to it. So I wanna bring the shimmer right to my lid here. That has some good pigment. Let me see how it looks on my hand. Okay, yep, and it has definitely got a shimmer to it and it's not glittery, so that I like. Okay, no, I like that. That is pretty. Do they look the same? Yeah. Oh, I got it right there. Do you guys see that? Okay, that I like. Actually, I'm really liking how this looks. I'm going to use a BK607. Is this the one I want? 907. No, 20. <laughs> it 
is upside down. It's 209. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually going to use this highlighter here. This one here. Because this one, even though it's eyeshadow, this one has a shimmer to it. And I don't like putting a shimmer right here. I like putting a lightness there, but not a shimmer. And I'm going to use that right underneath my brow. Okay, I don't want too much. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that, that I like. Okay, so far, I mean, some of this is going well, some of it is not. All right, I am going to bring some of the darker color underneath my eyes here. My favorite one to do that is the Refer number 23 brush because it's so tiny. It works so well for that. As you can see, I use that a lot. So I'm going to dip this in the tip of it, line right underneath my lash line. Boy, it's not showing too much. Let's get a little bit more. Okay, there, that's better. And I always try to bring it up. So it's not, oh wow, that is dark. But everything looks dark, like my brows look dark, my eyeliner looks dark, everything looks dark before we get the rest of the face on. See how my eye looks just so much more defined with that little bit of liner. Now this is not dark. I very rarely will use an actual liner underneath my lashes or above my lashes because I have small eyes and all that darkness brings it in. Now I will tight line once in a while. I don't tight line all the time, but once in a while I'll tight line. If I really want a more dramatic look, I will tight line right underneath my lash line here. That will give me a much darker eye line, but it's not like it's eyeliner. Do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna do that today because I wanna show just this. Okay, yeah, this is working good. I don't know why it didn't come off at first. Maybe I just didn't use enough. Just so much more put together that way. I love that look. Okay, mascara's on. I used the Essence Lash Paradise, Lash Paradise? Lash Princess in the waterproof. Now I'm actually gonna use a Laura Geller brush. I bought this quite a while ago. It is their retractable airbrush kabuki brush. It's retractable because you can put it like this and then put a lid on it and travel with it. So it's kind of nice for that, but I've never actually tried this thing. It's very, very clean. So I thought it would be good to try it now. So I'm going to use the Baked Body Frosting. If you go on Laura Geller's website, there actually is a video of Laura Geller herself showing how to use this entire thing. So I did watch that. She does things in an order I wouldn't do. She actually does this part right now first. So I would never do that. That's just me personally. So there's no rule. You can do whatever you want. But she does say to use a kabuki brush. Oh, wow, pretty good pigment. Wow. Oh yeah, it definitely has a glow to it. Oh, I'm not sure if I like that, so. <laughs> wow, this picked up a lot more than I thought. Not a huge fan of a glow on bronzer. It's just, just not the look that I like. Okay, I'm afraid, because normally I would go under here and stuff, but I don't want shimmer where I'm like, my skin is looser and I have a double chin and I, I don't want that. So I'm not gonna do that. And there's no other option. I'm gonna go a little bit over just to give that kind of sun-kissed look. Do you guys see the shimmer? I don't think it looks bad. I'm gonna use my physician's formula and take a more fluffy brush and go under here a little bit because I do wanna darken that area up but again, I do not want shimmer. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit more up here. If you really like a shimmer like all over your face, you will love the Laura Geller one. It's just, that's not the look I like. Okay, next obviously is blush. Pink Buttercream Baked Blush. Yes, Baked Blush and Brighten. It is fun how they do this marbly thing. Like I'm trying not to glare you with the mirror. The marbly thing, I think that's kind of fun. You get a whole bunch of colors in one. It's supposedly will be more blendable that way. Okay, wow, that's pigmented. Wow. <laughs> Okay, it is definitely pigmented. Now she says to bring it up, she says, do a V. So I will do her V. Wow. 
Okay, we're going to have to tone, tone that down, but I'll do both sides because that's definitely brighter than I would normally do. She says to bring it above your eyes. Okay, let's tone this down a little bit. I'm going to use a sponge that I used to put my makeup on, my foundation, and just dab this out a little bit. It's a good way to tone down a blush. Okay, that definitely is a glow. I don't know if that toned it down enough. Okay, I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 105 brush. It's actually their biggest brush. And I'm gonna blend it out just a little bit more. There's nothing on this. I just wanna soften that. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot better. Just a little bit strong for me. Although I think I do need to even out a little bit over here. Okay. All right, it is pretty. I do like the look, it's very pretty. But what, what cracks me up is she then says to use the highlighters. I'm like, okay, well, she's like, highlight more. <laughs> There's so much to highlight. Now, and she's even more fair skinned than me. So I'm like, she must have just done a much lighter hand, but we'll try it. I'm gonna use the BK 104 brush because it's very pointy, it's fluffy, it's not gonna pick up as much as a very dense one. I wanna use the whole thing, but I, it's a lot of blush, but I mean, a lot of shimmer. I'm gonna use the bottom one because I said I would use the whole thing and pick up a little bit. Let me see how much it picks up. Okay, I don't think it picks up a lot. Maybe I'll actually need more. Okay, it's definitely subtle. I mean, I definitely have shimmer. I, 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 I'm putting it where she says. I'm not a huge fan of shimmer right here because that's where my crow's feet end, like the bottom, well, end, they go there. And so I kind of feel like I'm going, here, look here, look at my crow's feet. I'm doing what she said. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. Like, it's just not my, my the look I want totally. So I'm gonna take this and just brighten up my forehead a little bit, because I kind of do like that whole thing. I want to set under my eyes a little bit more, so I'm gonna take a puff, and I'm going to use the highlighter. She says to use this under your... Uh, <laughs> Let me just pat it in, under your um, eyes. So I, I would never do this normally, but this is what she says to do. I would normally never use something that says highlighter, but it doesn't look like it has too much sheen. Do you guys see the difference? <laughs> I don't, I don't see a difference, but I had already patted them down a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, for my lips, I am actually going to use another Laura Geller product that I've had for a while. And it's actually one of my favorite lip liners. It is the Waterproof Lip Liner in Happy Hazelnut. This is very much one of my favorite lip liners. I like it because it's a retractable one. I'd say it's close to my lip color. It's very pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and line. And it's also not drying. I always line my entire lip. I don't just do the outside. All right, I'm gonna use another Laura Geller product. This is her lip, what is it called? Lip plumping? Lip Hugging Lip Gloss Nude Kisses, and this is in the color Tan Lines. This is another one of my favorite lip products. See how it just gives you kind of a, a little scoop. It's cute. This is a really good lip gloss. I very rarely will put lip gloss, well, I do do it, you'll see do do it. I put lip gloss on the bottom usually, put my lips together, and then I just touch the tip. If I put lip gloss around everything, then I feel like it's just too much for me. So there's the completed look. Definitely got some glow. I feel like it needs a little bit more blending. Do you see how it's kind of a little bit better. I think in the future what I will do instead of using this kind of brush because even though this seems fluffy there's a lot of 
bristles in here. So it's more condensed than you think. So therefore it's going to pick up a lot of product. So I think what I would do is use a little bit fluffier of a brush for the bronzer and things like that. Do I think this is worth $69? And they say it's $112 value. I think that the products are good. Like I actually like my look. I like my eyeshadow. I like how everything does glow. I mean, I definitely think it's pretty. I think this is only worth it if there is a sale because to me, 69 is pretty steep to have not really a full face. I think it is worth it if you are actually going to use all of it. But having said that, if you were to buy all of these products from a drugstore, you could easily get up to $70, definitely at the $55 range. I don't think it's highly overpriced because of that. The Laura Geller, the Laura Geller best of the best, what is it? No, baked, baked full face base. <laughs> okay, the, be the best of the best, baked full face, baked full face, Baked Full Face Basics. If you are looking for a tight line eyeliner that will actually stay in your waterline, then this video will show you which one actually does and it lasted all day. I'll see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.